Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego City Volcano Crawler. Set number 60122. Comes with 324 pieces, looks like three minifigures. And a tracked vehicle that uh, crawls through some volcanoes and does some volcano exploration. So we'll go ahead and uh, break the seal on this. Let's see what we have in here. Move this down. Go. Now I can see all the action out here. All right, so we have two instruction books with a kind of smallish sticker sheet. Actually, three instruction books. Instruction book one, two, and three. There they are. And we have some numbered bags. Bag number one, two, three, and a bag four. So we'll start with bag number one. Looks like we have a couple minifigures in here. There's also the small bag of parts. So we'll begin with the explorers. Oh, there's three minifigures. Looks like, looks like we're going to build all the minifigures for the set from this first bag. So we'll start with this guy. He has the yellow straps over the shoulders. Has a air tank, and let's see. Find the right head. I got a couple heads stuck in these tires. It's funny how they both got stuck in those tires. Okay. So he has a breathing apparatus that goes over the head, attaches to the tank, a white helmet, and a visor that hit the ground. They give us an extra. And this guy has a pickaxe. So that's our first minifigure. Next minifigure is a female explorer. She has a rope around her or over her shoulder. And this is cool. I like the fact that they mold the hair onto the helmet. So it actually looks like she has hair. Some female figures, if they have headgear or something on, there's no hair exposed anymore. So I like this hair helmet combo for the females. And our last one is a male figure. He's wearing a ball cap with a shovel. So that's our three figures. We have this volcano rock, which I guess these explorers are looking for these gems throughout the volcano so they can pop it open and get that little gem. It's kind of the storyline behind this volcano exploration sub theme of Lego City. All right, we have this platform area that they can put the rock that they mine out of the volcano onto. It's going to use our first sticker, sticker number three. It's kind of a warning sticker, like be careful, hot stuff coming through. railings to go around. So this thing will basically go in there. Alright, next we have a little kind of 4x4 four four off-roader build. Yeah. 
trying to push it down before it was on there. It slipped out of my hand a little bit. Had the lime green bodywork. This is a printed volcano exploration logo. It's like a compass with a volcano in the middle. We have a little chain on the back. And we have our four wheels and tires. Rotor, so you can put a figure in there. The chain will connect to something that they can uh, pull out. Well, looks like their instructions show the uh, little lava rock piece attached to it, so they're yanking it out of the ground, I guess. Alright, so that completes bag number one and instruction book number one. Pretty easy little bag. So we're going to move on to Bag number two. Okay, with all the parts of bag two out, we're going to begin building our um, volcano crawler. We'll start with the 4x6 plate. We have a couple Technic bricks with an axle with a stop. Two more Technic bricks. On the axle with a stop. That goes there. Squeeze another plate on top of that. Okay, this Technic lift arm. Move that to the side. Build another section of the chassis. The same deal, we have the axle with a stop, another axle with a stop, another plate, that goes there, and now we're going to A slightly different axle. We have a wheel and a tire, and this is more or less going to be used to help the playability of the, the set to actually help move the, the tracks because you'll find that they won't move very well by themselves. And I know that from experience building some tracked vehicles in the past that LEGO has made. Put that on, slide this all the way through. Now we have these wheel hubs for the tracks. It's three on each side, six total. tracks, we have 44 of these guys, we're going to do uh, 22 on each side. So basically each one of these has a clip on one side and a bar on the other, and they interlock together like this. So you can see it's pretty easy to put them together, it's just time consuming and redundant. It's like over and over the same thing. So I did, before we started this bag, I did go ahead and put together most of them. I think we have an extra. So there's supposed to be 22 on each. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I need 10 more. 4, 6, 8, 10. Pop that off together and they should. Nope, we do need 
all of them. Yeah, they usually don't give you an extra one of these big treads. The smaller treads, they will um, give you an extra one, not the big ones. So we lay the, the wheel hubs right on top of the middle portion of the track, fold these over, and snap on there. snaps on there. And you see that middle wheel there really helps this roll a lot. Okay. Next we have this. We'll go right there. Alright, that completes bag two. Pretty easy little bag. Let's move on to our third bag now. Okay, our third bag is going to begin the build of the cabin area where the driver sits and operates the um, jackhammer portion of the crawler. And some plates. Let's get that plate on right. It goes there. The brick with studs on the side. Two inverted slopes. Two trans orange studs. And we have these modified plates with a slope on one end. Put a trans orange stud on those as well. pieces, or curved pieces, curved slopes, slotted tiles, trans yellow cheese slopes with a couple one by one clips. Turn it this way. Put another slotted tile up here. And we have stickers. Sticker number four. It's right here. Stickers are numbered for reference to find, not in the order that you put them on. So just keep that in mind. If you're wondering how come we haven't put sticker number one on yet. Okay. That will attach right there. body for the vehicle. So that's what's going on here. Lime green plates. Bracket with a slotted tile. Lime green slope and a blue plate. Half our steering wheel. Go right in the middle. 
trans light blue windscreen. Two plates with clips on them. We'll be pointing out towards the side. Couple brackets, and these get trans yellow one by one round tiles. So these are the work lights so they can see in the dark I guess. The roof of the cab. Two rear view mirrors and we get the with the Volcano Explorer logo on there. Like seen earlier, it's the compass with the volcano in the middle. Okay, so we have these newer parts. It's the little bar holder, but it has a bar on it instead of the clip. Put two of these on. onto this clip. Then we have one more bar that will go across the front. Just like that. Bring our crawler over. This will attach. Body right there. And then we have one more piece that I guess they didn't want us to clip it on until now. That goes there. Okay, move that to the side. Next, we're going to start building the jackhammer portion of the back of the crawler. Trans red one by two plates. Inverted slope, slotted tile, turntable plate. Two trans orange studs. It's one by four curved shapes and a panel some tiles this piece Goes right there. That all interlocks perfectly. And these tiles here will also help lock it all in place. Two of these same pieces. Let's both go there. Some sloped two by four bricks. Plate. Sticker number one. We're going to do two of them. They're going to pretty much go right in the middle of this half round brick. 
put them on best you can. That looks good enough for me. Let's go on both sides. So it adds a little bit of decoration, kind of a perforated metal look. pieces for the exhaust, a couple lights on the top, and that completes bag number three. We're already done with three bags? All right. Yeah, looks like we're on our fourth and final bag. Okay, we have everything dumped out for bag four. This is going to build the um, jack camera portion. So this is what's going to sit on the turntable brick and be able to turn or swivel round and round. Have some modified plates with Technic pin holes on the side. And the long sweeping curves. friction pins. Now we have our construction yellow color. A couple tiles. We we'll do sticker number two, which is just a long warning stripe sticker. Go on the side of this one by six brick, just like that. And that goes in that on that friction pin. Next, we have a couple more of these one by one Technic bricks, an inverted slope. friction pins and a 2x2 two two plate. orange plates in here. I feel the trans orange kind of carries over from the lava, the lava rock concept. Okay, we have sticker number eight and seven, or seven and eight, however you want to read it. Sticker number eight goes on this side, and sticker number seven goes on the other side. Technic plate and a friction pin. of these thin lift arms. There's a uh, quite a bit more Technic in the city set than is normally found in Lego City stuff. It's 
usually found in a little bit more advanced models like Ninjago or some of the superhero sets, even Star Wars stuff. Lego City is usually reserved for younger audience, but it's okay getting them a little bit used to it. Because if they continue to be a Lego fan for many years, they'll probably encounter way more Lego Technic elements. Alright, so there's our little jackhammer piece. Now, what makes it kind of return to its starting position is there's a little rubber band. So that was in this little box that came in the bag of parts. So we wrap one end around this toe ball and then bring it up to the top and wrap the other end around. So you can see when I push down, the rubber band pulls it back to its beginning position. So we will attach the piece there. A couple more parts. We should be close to being done. Last sticker time. See how that moves up and down. Let's bring our crawler over. This uh, circular part attaches to the turntable there. And it doesn't turn until you lift it up off of that. That's pretty cool, the way that the, the space in between here interlocks with this panel and it prevents it from turning. So when it's in transportation mode, it won't move. But then whenever you lift it up, you see it, it turns pretty freely. And the way it works is um, you have your, your volcano rock and you push down and you try to, look at that, it actually does work. So you crack open your volcano rock and there's your little gem in there. That's pretty cool. I didn't think it would actually actually work. But there's a hole on the top. It's like a friction pinhole or a Technic pinhole. And this uh, part of the jackhammer actually does fit in there. You give it a good push and it does crack it open. So that is actually pretty cool. That's a uh, nice little surprise that I was not expecting. All right, so that does it for the build of the Lego City Volcano Crawler. I'm gonna move this a little bit so you can kind of get a better view of the whole thing. Remember we have our little ATV and then two more explorers. This guy in the fire suit is the one that's going in the, in the volcano. Pretty cool little set. Um, Appreciate you guys watching. Tell me your thoughts. Put a comment down below. Do you have this set? Do you want it? Um, let me know. Make sure to check out my other videos. Got a lot of Lego City videos on my channel. So if you love Lego City as your theme of choice, then I've got plenty of videos for you to watch. So subscribe, check out my Lego City playlist, and we'll see you tomorrow.